And the Orlando Free Fall is a brand new ride having just opened a few months ago. It's the world's second tallest drop tower, standing 430 feet high. It can fit up to 30 people and rotates as it rises to the top. That's right, but not all drop rides are exactly the same. West 2's investigative reporter Greg Fox has been looking at differences that could play a major role in determining exactly what happened. And Greg, there are a lot of these drop rides right here in Florida and all across the country. Uh, there's probably a... a this is what it looks like when riders take the plunge on free fall. While a state ride safety inspector tries to figure out how a 14 year old boy fell from seat number 31, West 2 investigates uncovered key differences between this and similar drop rides. That's right, on free fall, which is owned by Slingshot Group, there's no belt connecting the horn on the seat to the shoulder restraint. By contrast, Dr. Doom's fear fall at Universal Orlando does have belts, as you see in these photos. All right, we're going to hold it like this and hope we hold. At Free Falls Peak, riders are tilted forward, putting additional pressure on the safety harness as it drops. At Bush Gardens, West 2's Jason Guy rode Falcon's Fury, where it tilts at the top but tilts back before the drop. But one expert I spoke with said ride design may not have played a role in this accident. They tend to be operator error. Uh, as the root cause. Nathan uh, McDonald is a ride so safety expert with Alpine why. Engineering and Design. He says most modern rides have one or two safety backups to prevent mishaps. But the one consistent theme in most accidents he's investigated, employees just weren't trained to ensure safety measures were in place. That's one of the reasons why uh, training and you know following the correct procedures in terms of operating the ride safely is absolutely critical. There's only so much that a designer can do at the end of the day. You really have to rely on the operator operating the ride properly. Just last September, two workers at Glenwood Caverns Mine Drop in Denver were alleged to have forgotten to buckle six-year-old Wangel Estefanos, who fell from the seat to her death. On the freefall death, Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings tells us, I offer my deepest condolences for the family of the 14-year-old boy who died following the tragic incident at Icon Park. I look forward to receiving more information about what happened in the incident and what will be done to prevent it from ever happening again. Now, as I pointed out in that report, uh, Dr. Doom's fear fall just across I-4 at Universal is designed differently than free fall. But uh, just because uh, of this incident that happened last night, uh, Universal, in an abundance of caution, decided to uh, do a safety test in addition to its usual safety checks on that ride before putting it into action earlier today. Live in Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Greg, thank you. We are seeing on top of this developing story at Icon Park. We have crews on the ground and are continuing to learn more. Stay with us on air and online for continuing coverage.